that this is uh, just beautiful setup right here. Look at how strong and how straight that back is. As he turns away, everything loads behind the golf ball. Solid post on that right hand side. And then as he turns through, he, he starts down and the hips fire so far out of the way that right there at impact, they're actually turning back toward the ball just slightly. And it's, it's like a recoil that generates so much more club head speed. You can't do that at home, folks. And here's another example of the flexibility you were talking about that Rory McIlroy has. Yeah, I mean, he is ripped uh, physically, a lot of muscles, but he stretches those muscles. But watch the follow through. See how he drops it into the slot right here? And then right there is perfect. Watch where the club head ends up. And this is a little bit like a Michelle Wee follow through. Watch the club actually points at the target. It's so fall through so far. Here's Adam Scott on that last shot on the downswing. Pay particular attention to his right foot, his right leg, and how beautifully he stays down to the ball. You hear a lot about staying down to the ball. He didn't come up off that right heel too soon. Controlled his lower body action. That allowed him to make solid contact, as shown by our Konica Minolta Bizhub swing vision camera. Yeah, nice straight back. Backside out, look to the top, it gets to the top, you know, look at the, the club face and the left wrist are basically the same, they're parallel, that means a square face. He's resistant against that right hip on the way up, and then from the top, rotates those hips, and then more importantly, gets that top half through so well, doesn't he? There, there's just no impingement on the way through. Swing vision camera, I only want you to focus on Bubba's head and his cap. Nothing else. Don't watch the swing. Don't watch the footwork. Don't watch anything. Because as much movement as he has with his legs, with his feet, and as high as he gets his swing, the only way he can control that and find the center of the club face on the back of the ball consistently is by keeping his swing arc, his swing center in the same place. And especially when you consider he's swinging at 125 miles an hour of club head speed, he does a marvelous job of retaining his head position in my opinion, that's the key to his ability to find the ball consistently. Let's use our Konica Minolta BizHop Swing Vision Camera to show how Dustin Johnson creates so much power in his golf swing. I want to identify the distance his arms are from his body at address. Because as he takes the club away, you're going to see the arms breaking away from the body, getting a little bit farther away from him. The net result of that is, at the halfway back point, you're going to see the club head getting inside of his hands. Now that's not good because what that leads to is his infamous wrist position at the top of his backswing. And that's what everybody focuses on, this position right here. But really what I want you to focus on is how wonderfully he rotates his knees, how beautifully he turns his hips and his torso. That unbelievable body rotation is really the key to his explosive power. As we change directions now, you're going to be able to see how he stays back on his right leg long enough changing directions so that when he comes into the golf ball, he is going to have the shaft in an absolutely perfect position at impact and the back of the left wrist and forearm is flat. So he returns it to an impeccable position at impact because of his phenomenal body rotation. You'll never hit it as far as Dustin Johnson, but if you want to hit it farther, try turning your body as much as he does seems to catch every shot right in the middle of the face. There's a new driving iron. Full release with his right arm, his right side through the ball. He said he looks to be in mid-season form. First week of January. It's a good thing. To look, work with, boy, take a look at how much downhill this ball is. Key here is to keep your weight on your left side, and you can see that Kevin's doing that perfectly. Now, trying to maintain balance to the ball. At this point here, you're going to lose your balance, as we saw Kevin do, because your weight wants to throw down the slope. Now, if you look at Louis over here, um, you can see beautiful lines here from posture back 
just gently uh, hanging over the golf ball, the arms just are hanging down below the shoulders. That's a beautiful situation there. Now as he swings back, it's all very standard, hands close to the body. You can see the lower half starts to rotate away, very little hand action. And this is just beautiful stuff because there's no manipulation of the club as we get him to the top here. A beautiful situation, you can see the left forearm and the club face parallel with each other, which means it's very square. And you can see how the right hip is sort of turned in behind him. The thing to watch though is that this hip tends to fire a little early on the way down. So as he transitions now, you'll watch, see that right hip sort of kick towards the golf ball. Sometimes it gets that right elbow just a little stuck in behind the hip and you can see how this area is now straightened up. So from that beautiful posture that he was bent in as we continue to take him through, you can see how the lower half's pulled in underneath him. And so it forces him to have to use the hands a little too much. Sometimes he gets late. And so as a result, he also puts some pressure on the lower back. Just notice the setup. Everything square, shoulders, hips, knees, aiming right down the left side of the fairway. Tall, stands up erect, beautiful straight takeaway. Look how upright he is. Club is perfect at the top. Notice the face of the club matching up with the left arm. All his weight is shifted into his right side. He's loaded up perfectly. Now he'll start the downswing with his legs. Notice him drive down the line. Look how well his head stays in, maintains his spine angle always like the way this young man swings the golf club. And how you release the club, how you might hold it. Another look here at the swing in slow motion. Trying to get that shaft to stand up a little bit more in the backswing. Let's see if it flattens out on the way down. He did hit a cut here though, so sometimes you're a little bit more on top of it, which he was right there. He didn't really flatten it out on the downswing there, but when you're trying to play a cut, you're a little more on top of it and hold it off. How long do you think? a process like that takes. 